annual city crime rankings crime and metropolitan america report was recently released naming the most dangerous and the safest cities in america this is all based upon stats provided by the fbi the most dangerous was detroit and california had the safest city with mission viejo but california also had a city in the top five most dangerous with oakland showing up as number four and this pie by CJ contributor Kevin Epps takes us to Oakland and shows us how the youth in this city are fighting an everyday battle to stay alive. California, you feel me? I'm right here on 76 and MacArthur Boulevard. It's the tear zone right now, you feel me? The violence out here is terrible, man. You know, I don't know how to start. Don't know where to start at. I live in the killing fields, that's how I look at it. I ain't gotta go to Beirut to know about war, you feel me? Now, my name is Dr. Andre Campbell. I am a trauma surgeon at San Francisco General Hospital. I am right in the midst of what is, I think, an epidemic of violent crime in the African-American community. I have seen um, a huge torrent of violence. And in my mind, from what I see every day, it disproportionately affects the African-American community. Happened to be where I wasn't supposed to be at the wrong time, I guess. My van got shot up. This is my family van, my wife's van. I'm leaving my mother's house about 2.30 in the morning and go to the Valero gas station. And uh, on my way out of the gas station, you know, somebody come out of the shadows and start shooting at my van. And I can tell you that from what I see, people, young people are being shot for things that are just, in my mind, totally ridiculous. So my name is Dame, Dame Hooker from Oakland, California. Well, I got shot like two times, two different occasions, one in 94 and one in 99. One in 94, I got uh, this dude got into an altercation over a car, came up, wop, wop, tried to take me and my partner out, hit me one time in my leg, you feel me? I survived that one. Like I said, I'd have been through it out here, man. I ain't been shot once, but I'd have been shot like on two different occasions. And when I say out here, I ain't got to go too far, man. I'd have been shot right up there on top of that hill right there. I'd have been shot right around the corner on 77, you feel me? What has happened is that instead of sitting down and discussing things, people uh, deal with beefs or, or disputes by settling it with a weapon instead of sitting down and having conversation. Well, the first time I got shot, I had pulled up in front of the stove and was grabbing some switches at the stove. And when I came out the stove, some of them tried to assassinate my character by coming around the corner and sneak attacking me. And I seen the lightweight jumping off. So, you know, went down the way it had to go down. You feel me? I wind up getting clipped, you know what I'm saying? I've been a doctor now for 22 years. When what I could see now is that people are being shot by a, a higher caliber weapon. Oh, I got hit with a Mag 90 and a, a 40 cal. The second time I got shot, and I got shot at with a cater before I got hit in my elbow. It's like equivalent of having a bomb go off inside of your abdomen, inside of your chest, inside of your leg, and causes just absolute uh, devastation to the, to the human body no matter where you're hit. Having been hit in the stomach, in the back, legs, I got bullets in my stomach, my back, and all kind of shit going on. I got big wounds, boy. When I say big wounds, big wounds. Chopper, you feel me? Chopper City, boy. I got 11 bullet holes in my van from the incident. Here go one here, two, three, four. That's the one that went through my hand all the way through the window. Actually, I'm glad they wasn't a good shot because they would have hit me in my head. I was in East Oakland at my baby mama house. Some cats tried to rob me. We tussling for the pistol. He squeezed the trigger, and that's when he hit me right here. Nick right here in my chest. And you can see it didn't go all the way through right there. All this is open, looked like an explosion. You know, I got permanent nerve damage. I can barely move my knuckles. It went in here, came out there. 
Come to find out the police told me out there in Richmond that it was mistaken identity. He bust the whole clip on me, though, the police said. And he hit me like four times. Went to this dude's house, I called 911, the answer machine came on like six times. They said I flatlined one time. They brought me back. But I don't remember none of that. So everybody be talking about, oh, I seen the light. I think I died. You don't remember none of that. <laughs> you don't remember none of that. This my T1, you feel me? The one and only, you know what I'm talking about? Advantage, you know? Straight up. My they been cooked, you know what I'm saying? Fried right there on the street, 73rd, you know what I'm saying? This man they been hit with an AK-47, mate. On his own time, you feel me? Take it out, man. You know how we do it. Yeah. Little war wounds, you know. This ain't nothing, no. You know, it's nothing, man. It We're ain't easy here, being man. a bandit, man. I'm gonna tell you that here, right man. now. With the youngsters out here not really having nothing to do. When they don't have nowhere to direct their energy or nothing like that, that's all you got, man. You don't have no money. Your moms and pops, they dope fiends and shit, you know what I'm saying? You got to get out here and fend for yourself at a young age and try to make it happen. It is a devastating problem that we're trying to confront here with this, what I think is a genocide in our community where large numbers of African Americans are being killed. I mean, we talk about Darfur and things being terrible there, but here we have the similar kind of thing going on. It's real out here, though. It's a lot of murders, a lot of people getting killed. And I'm one of the survivors, yo. You know what I'm saying? My little cousin, he wasn't a survivor. He got shot like one time in the kidney. And it was over. It was over. One time in the kidney. 17 years old. It's a cold game out here, man. It's too much going on, man. Don't know what more to say about it. But it is what it is, you know. I'm out here living, man. We on 76, we represent it to the fullest, man. You know? The sixes, man. This is my brothers, you know what I'm saying? The cutters. <laughs> <laughs>